My name is Richard Stewart. I'm a heavy haul driver at ATS on the company side. I started out in the military in 2006. I was a motor vehicle operator, so I drove in the military for um, about 11 years. When I got out, I got my CDL, and I was just driving vans, but I wanted to get back to securing equipment. I called ATS, but I live too far in the state of Florida. When I moved to Texas, I called them back, and it was like, yeah, you can come on over. I came in and I told my dispatcher that I wanted heavy haul because that's what I was doing in the military. So I classed up from there. It took me a year to class up, and then I left because I got sick. So I got hospitalized and got put in the ICU for a week or, so, or whatever, and I was able to get the truck back to the house. Because of that factor, they sent somebody to come get the truck and I didn't get an abandonment. I got myself back healthy and then I called back, I called back to my original recruiter, Robbie. Within the week, I got an answer back saying I can come back. And I told him I wanted to go heavy haul this time. I got in touch with Miss Shelby. She called me and we did a phone interview and she accepted me to come back as heavy haul. And that's how I got into heavy haul. My part was I hooked up to an RGN and I, I told my dispatcher, find a freight for it. I, I don't want to pull anything else. And I held on to an RGN for a year. Most of the loads that he found for me were oversized loads, which helped me class up. Now I did take a hit when it came to pay because you know there were other loads that paid a little bit better versus flatbed and step deck and RGN. That was a call that I made in order to get to where I wanted to be at because I had a goal to come into heavy haul. Once you get to heavy haul, there's still separate classes in heavy haul that you have to do. I'm a class six, so I'm at the bottom. But, you know, once I get the time at the company, then I can, you know, progress further. I got routed on a route that I was too heavy for. So I had to stop and call law enforcement and call ATS. It took about maybe 30 to 40 minutes before everything got worked out, but I was eventually able to continue on, on the uh, trip. I didn't know I was too heavy on the route until I got to the actual bridge and I saw the sign posted. Law enforcement showed up on out there where I was at. They showed up out there. Together with them, while I was on the phone with dispatch, they determined that I was able to continue on with the trip. So I continued on with the trip at that point. Review your permit. And if you see anything on your permit that you don't, you, you don't fully understand, call your dispatcher. Give them the information and let them make the decision. And do it over um, over the Qualcomm. If there's anything that happens, you can't be blamed for it because you have a date and a timestamp of every everything when it comes to something like that. The Linux system, I never liked the cameras in the trucks anyways, I'm gonna be honest, but I agree with it because if anything happens, you have something there that can document it, especially if it's not your fault. But when I first came back, I had a semi, we was in a construction zone in Illinois, speed limit 45 and they got the right lane blocked. So I was splitting the shoulder and the, the left lane and the semi came, came down the shoulder between me and the grass and passed us. The camera caught that. So in instances, instances like that, I agree. It'll save you if you're not doing anything you ain't supposed to do. If you're doing something you ain't supposed to do, it's gonna tell on you. And it's up to you as a driver to do the right thing at all times, regardless if the camera's in the truck or not. The best thing about it is that ATS doesn't look inside the truck. They put a sticker over the camera. If they, if you want to, you can put a sticker over it. As long as you don't block the, the outward facing camera, you're fine. Well, I would tell them, you know, it's a good place to be. You can start your career here and end your career here. You have the opportunity to start here as a company driver, lease and become a business owner. You can do everything here. Like I said, from van to flatbed, to step deck, to, heavy haul, and all the way up to 13, 19 axles, you can, you can do it. And it's almost like they're that premier company, like everybody knows ATS. If, if you say, yeah, I used to work at ATS, it's almost like the other company know, well, we know that's a good driver if he was able to go over there and, and work over there. I like a lot of stuff here at ATS, to be honest.